in today's video, I would like to talk about black girl magic or the not so black girl magic. We're going to talk about three women in the political space that has caused shame to black women everywhere. These three degenerates, deceivers, criminals, uselessness. What other word comes to mind when we think about women who have been put in positions of power where they are now using the positions that they've been given to do harm to the people they represent, to do harm in the communities, to do harm to the black girl reputation. These women are disgraceful, dishonest, devils, did we use that one yet? We hadn't used that one yet. Devils too, they devils too. And they're just plain old disgraceful. The three women that we are talking about in this conversation is Fonnie Fanny Willis, Tiffany A. Hinyard, and Regina Hill. Now, if you've watched this channel, then you know all about them. Regina Hill is more newer to this conversation because I have not covered her um, extensively as I've done with Tiffany Henyard and Fonnie Willis. But I recently posted a video of Miss Regina Hill, who turns out to be the original gangster, the OG of bad behavior in politics. Now, as a recent Miss <music> Tiffany Henyard, the youngest of the three, she has done more damage than I, I believe than any of the two original OGs because she is young. She has her fingertips on the younger generation. And she is, as she likes to say, she is a trailblazer. Young, black, Democrat trailblazer. But Tiffany Henyard is no black girl magic. Because what she has done is now tainting the younger generation of the black woman pool. Little girls are looking up to her and they are thinking that this is the way to move. Again, because she's young and she's got the social media realm in her grips. She's on TikTok. She's on um, social media. She's getting ready to put out her podcast. She's on the pulse of these social spaces where the other two are not so there. Regina Hill, you know, she lives in the Facebook world probably. So she's not really moving that way because she's an old G, old old G. Fonnie Willis, her pull is not that big. She's, she's not as old as Regina, but um, she's not in that younger demographic either. I think she's like 54 or something like that. So um, she's in a different space, but Tiffany Henyard is the future. These kinds of Democrat girls that she is, that's looking towards her, they are the ones who's going to be going into the future, going to lead this country. And one day, Tiffany Henyard will be the original OG like Regina Hill. But for right now, 
She is young, strong, and Democrat. And she's very social and vocal about all of this. She's got the vision to take her and her Democrat, Democrat, <laughs> her Democrat uh, party to a different level. It's the party of insanity. And these are the kinds of leaders that's going to be, that they are looking to cultivate. So in my opinion, Tiffany Hinyard is the most dangerous of the three. Look at everything that Tiffany Hinyard has done. This woman is under investigation by the FBI. This woman is under investigation by, um, I believe the, the Lieutenant governor or, um, oh God, I forget how you say it, but the law, you know, she's under investigation, bottom line. And she is not only the mayor of her town, but she is the supervisor of a whole bunch of other towns combined. This woman is a powerful entity. And yet her governor, unlike in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis suspended Regina Hill from her duties because of all of these allegations and being in her arrest. But Tiffany Hinyard, though she's under investigation by the FBI, though she's under investigation by the Attorney General, though her trustees and her board, the news is all over her. Everything that she's done, she has yet to pay any kinds of consequences. She has not been removed. She has not been fined. She has not been suspended. She has not been arrested. Though she has been arrested, but not for any of these things that she's looking at right now. No. She has not, she has been called to talk about things. She went on Roland Martin's show to express her thoughts. And of course, Roland Martin did not press her on anything. She sashayed in there and sashayed out smelling like a rose. And so this is the kind of power that this woman has been given. Where she can talk to news reporters and deny her wrongdoings right there on camera in people's face. There's receipt after receipt after receipt after receipt about her misconduct and her bad behavior, but yet she is getting away with it. Her governor has not stepped in to do anything in reference to all of this the way DeSantis has. Nobody has been able to do anything in reference to Tiffany Henyard, and she continues to reign. She continues to rule. Her constituents have called her out at town hall meetings. They have come to say, we want you to resign. Tiffany Henyard is not going anywhere because she is bold in her misdeeds. She is strong. She doubles down. Again, Democrat playbook. They double down whenever there's an issue. They just double down. They don't hear what you're saying. They are focused, laser focused on what it is that they want done. And all the noise can just, they don't hear all the noise. They just continue to double down. And this is what Tiffany Henyard has done. So black girl magic, no, 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 my dear. Her behavior, just like the other two, has really caused black girls, black women to be disgraced in the society. Their behavior is unprecedented. But yet, they're just flying high. We'll see what happens to Regina Hill with her arrest. We'll see how that works out. 
because I'm pretty sure before soon, before long, she will be crying racism and how they have come for the black woman. Fannie Willis has done it. She went to church in the pulpit and called out racism. That, they're, that they've come for her because she's a black woman. Tiffany Hanyard has done it. They're only after her because she, she's young and she's black. And she's, she, she's doing these things. And so they've come for her. So it won't be long until Regina says, this is all about me being black. And again, judge me by the content of my character not the color of my skin. Seen that? Heard that? Good.